The Annecy Film and Animation Festival was held today in France and there have been a lot of reveals coming out ever since it started earlier today. Since there was a bunch of stuff being revealed slowly, I decided to wait a bit to see if everything was going to get revealed and if there is something more, I'll let you all know in the description below. But needless to say, Adventure Time got a lot of reveals and it's been a long time since i've been able to talk about this show because of some copyright shenanigans going on with turner since i don't have to actually show clips this time guess what i'm gonna talk about it now firstly we got two new series announced for adventure time there's this one that's made for cartoon networks like preschool thing they're trying to do i know they did something with the craig of the creek show but that got canceled like immediately because of some executive bs you know how it tends to be bemo super kid friendly character give them a little kid show and then they'll see all the trauma and sadness in the later series to go if they feel inclined and then the other series they announced was a prequel series. I assumed this could have been the fabled uh, Simon and Marcy series that so many people have been speculating about forever, but it seems like it's going to be an episodic series that primarily focuses on Finn and Jake. This obviously is harkening back to the origins of the show itself. They even explicitly said that Ice King was going to be a major character in it, so unfortunately we might not get the Simon and Marcy baggage, but hey, we're getting those season one episodic fun vibes that a lot of people clamor for and miss. The one thing I am kind of conflicted on, is this going to be some kind of Teen Titans Go equivalent? Obviously, Early Adventure Time was a ton of fun and had a bunch of world building stuff, great character writing, it was just funny. If we keep that kind of a style, that would be really great. If it is like Teen Titans Go though, which I wouldn't be shocked about whatsoever since that's the golden goose of Cartoon Network, I'm probably not going to like it that much to be honest because I just don't really care. Don't milk it too dry, otherwise people are going to stop caring, which is obviously not what you want. We did get an update for Fiona and Cake as well. Now we did get any actual trailers for it from what I could tell. There is some murmuring about some of the characters from Ooh going to Fiona's world as part of the plot line. I don't know how legit those are, so I'm not going to take that with any grain of seriousness. But we do actually know that it's going to be continuing directly after the end of the last season. This has a lot of potential for me. Could it mean that we're getting a direct transition into Betty's plotline, since Betty was the last thing we saw with the weird apple from the pyramid of the time room? A lot of stuff there. I'm not going to get into that right now. Is it possible we're going to see more of the stuff from Finn's world interact with Fiona's world? We do know that it's going to be 10 episodes just like season one. And lastly, this is something I'm really excited about. We're getting an Adventure Time movie. Now, this has been rumored for years. Like, I remember when the series was still ongoing that there were murmurs of an Adventure Time movie taking place. It honestly kind of reminds me of those movies that feel as though it's more of a when will it happen more than a will it happen. Kind of like that, that Five Nights at Freddy's movie that came out a while ago. Like, or like the Minecraft movie. But anyway, so the Adventure Time movie is said to be headed by three uh, juggernauts of the Adventure Time community. Rebecca Sugar, of course, meaning the sky will split the second anything with her is involved. People are going to get hyped. Adam Muto, obviously the head writer for Adventure Time after Pendleton. And Patrick McHale, one of the creators of Over the Garden Wall, a show that has praise from most other people. You don't need to hear about it from me, but it's a banger. So a lot of great people are going into this movie. So these are three massive individuals in the scope of what Adventure Time is, meaning this is going to be pretty good in my opinion. Now, what exactly is it going to be? I don't really know. Is it going to be taking place after the series? Is it going to be taking place during the series? What's it going to be? Are we going to see some drama? Of course we will. Rebecca Sugar's involved. We know we're going to get some crazy baggage and some really, really great animation. Rebecca obviously headed the Steven Universe movie, which was not only fantastic, but it was a great jumping off point for an entire new series, Steven Universe Future. Does that necessarily mean we're going to get an Adventure Time future or whatever, like thousand plus? I don't think so. I think Fiona and Cake is essentially that right now. But if we do get something more focused on the future versions of Finn, PB, Simon, Marcy, that would be fantastic. That would be kind of 
odd for a pick in my opinion because Jake obviously would not be in the story whatsoever and he's one of your main characters. I'm more so leaning to this taking place after the finale of Come Along With Me and before the Fiona and Cake stuff that's happening right now. Obviously Finn did age a lot in between the finale and Fiona and Cake so there's probably a lot they could do in between there especially since Finn's main motivation in Fiona and Cake is missing Jake and trying to live without him. It'd be cool to see what happened in between. There's probably a lot of adventures they went on that we'll never see, so it gives the writers a lot of breathing room to make something new and super fun. I think that would just be the more believable option because you have the excuse to bring back a bunch of characters. Obviously, this will probably have a ton of fan service with the writers of the show being directly involved with the movie. So I have a lot of expectations for this and I honestly think this will be pretty great. It'll probably be a while until we see a trailer or anything like that. And a lot of the stuff that was revealed at this are greenlit, meaning they might not necessarily come to be. However, I do have a lot of faith that these will come to fruition because of how much momentum they're putting behind this. I think they're starting to realize that this is a lot more than just one show and that they could push this as some sort of universe thing. We can milk it. We can really milk it. Uh, which is fine by me, you know? As much as it might seem like a consumer mindset, guess what? I like the show anyway and I'm happy to see that they're putting more faith into this world. I think that's pretty awesome. As long as the writing remains top tier and a lot more people are able to get into the industry and show off what they can do, not only with this world but with the skills they're able to make, this could lead to more shows being created and more ideas being pushed to have new worlds be created, new characters to get invested in. This is the reason that shows like this are so important because it gives people the platform to do something new and great and inspire other people and that causes the cycle of creativity. But it does give me a sense of worry at the end of the day. They were more so focusing on older brands getting reboots. There was a Foster's reboot, a regular show reboot, a Gumball reboot. All these were announced exactly at the same time and not a lot of new stuff because a lot of that new stuff is getting pushed to Adult Swim because they feel it's not marketable. I do think that's a bit of a, a red flag to say the least, but I still am happy that they're putting more faith into these older things because it shows that they have some respect for their catalog, but at the exact same time, pushing something new to get new people invested in these worlds would help as well. So we're in kind of a weird eh feeling for a lot of this stuff, but most importantly for me, uh, the movie, that's going to be amazing in my opinion. And Fiona Cake Season 2 getting some reveals as well. That's super awesome. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was something that wasn't revealed at this uh, festival, but something that I just learned about literally earlier today. And that is that the Adventure Time comic run is actually continuing. I thought that was really cool. I've started reading a lot of the Kaboom comics relatively recently. Some of them are actually really, really good, and they're going to be sold in these sort of uh, compilations of their older stuff since they weren't able to be sold because of some rights stuff. I'm not entirely sure on the specifics, but before the new run starts in 2025 with Oni Press, all of the old Kaboom comics are going to be sold and be able to be read for the first time in a really long time. So that's super great. Really cool to see them not only doing you know, more shows, but branching out into other multimedia stuff. Again, this is a huge trend for brands to have like comics, movies, shows. I mean, there's Adventure Time games as well. This thing is huge. The multimedia-ification of Adventure Time is something I've found really interesting. And obviously it's panned out for the better for a long time. So seeing them really double down and put a lot more into this uh, has me excited for sure. Uh, but again, mostly that movie, oh my god, that's gonna be awesome. That's it from me. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you are most excited about from all these crazy reveals uh, down below. And if you did enjoy this, please consider supporting the channel. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers and any help along the way would be greatly appreciated. Since the, the brain rot, you know, it's probably gonna come back uh, tenfold. Hope you enjoyed. Take care and have a good one.